Arizonans watching the developments closely and having tough conversations at home. ABC 15's Christine Stanwood is live at the state capitol where a vigil will be held tomorrow night. Christine. And you may notice that the flags are lowered at half staff in honor and remembrance of the victims of the mass shooting. Well, tomorrow evening at 630, there will be a candlelight vigil where faith leaders and lawmakers are expected to gather outside. The organizer of this event speaking with me this evening, saying that it's his mission to make a difference on this horrible issue. I remember when I was in high school. You know, when you hear a bang, when you hear a fire alarm go off, the first thing on your mind is, what's going on? Is there a shooter? Those thoughts stick with ASU senior Jacob Martinez. And since high school, he's made it his mission to get leaders' attention to prevent gun violence from happening. For the last four years that I've even been working on this, we've fought and cried and begged for them to do something, for leaders to do something. But Tuesday, Martinez pens yet again an orange ribbon on his shirt to stand with victims after another mass shooting in Texas. Babies, uh, that, that the one that's the one word that I can to say to, to, to just put this all together. These, these kids were babies that were killed. Second, third, fourth graders, students, you know, my brother's age, younger than that, gunned down and killed in, a, in, in school. Um, and, and this is something we've seen far too common. Not only is Martinez a double major in political science and justice studies, he also joined the reserves last year training on how to respond to an active shooter situation. I own guns. I'm in the Navy. I mean, I have a respect for guns. I, I, I know how to safely operate them and safely use them. And Understanding both sides, Martinez is organizing a candlelight vigil at the Arizona State Capitol Wednesday night. And it's really just going to be a chance to come together and, and to mourn the victims lost. Um, as well as just to, to demand and say that we need to do something. We can't continue to stand by while nothing happens, while kids and people continue to be shot. Reporting in Phoenix, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona.